Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a quick follow-up video for my testing and my build of the Pickle Evo 2. So I have to say I built this uh, one or two weeks ago and in the meantime this has become pretty much one of my favorite setups. Because it is very versatile, I, I wouldn't say that this is a toothpick style setup anymore because it's 108 grams, I mean it's pretty much just a micro, but I really like this setup because it does pretty much everything you want. It records HD, it's got a pretty good range because I run it on Crossfire, it's got the 400 milliwatt Ishii Nano VTX, so plenty of range. And um, this was what I was flying most of the time when I was just flying for fun. Now I have made a few updates here on this build that I'd like to share with you. First of all, um, the, pretty much the only criticism I had about this frame design, design that Alexander did was that the arms are maybe a bit soft and it's slightly hard to tune and um, tends to get a bit of jello in the video footage. So Alexandre immediately reacted and updated the bottom plate. So what I have here is the old one, it's the softer one with these uh, these skinny arms. And what Alex did, which was pretty clever, is was he just slightly beefed up the arms, front and rear, and shortened the front arms slightly. And also, yeah, he added this little X here. So instead of, of a hole here, which was a bit annoying because you couldn't place anything here, you know. Uh, there's a little X now, so you can place your VTX on here and zip tie it or place a little buzzer or anything, which is pretty clever. And as far as I know, he also updated these holes here to fit the, um, the USB on the all-in-one boards that have the downwards facing USB. And this, these changes increase the stiffness of this frame significantly. So this one is, this new version 2 of the bottom plate is way stiffer, it's still 3 millimeters. And um, it's really a very noticeable increase in stiffness, although it is not much heavier. I, I measured them, they're around, one is around 13, the other one around 14 grams, so it's roughly one gram of difference between the two, which is great. And as I said really cleverly, Alex shortened these arms, which is probably the reason for the weight saving, so they are pretty much the same um, while being, in, in terms of weight, while being much stiffer. So. Big improvement here and thanks to Alexander for this update, really cool. Makes this frame I really like even better. Now on my build, uh, a few slight updates. So what I did, first of all I, I first started this build with 20mm M2 standoffs. Now these are 23mm just because I wanted to have a little bit more separation here between these boards and the VTX to avoid everything uh, getting too hot. and. I also added the new TPU parts that Alexandre added to his Thingiverse, so I have the new big chunky <laughs> cam mount, which should avoid the slight jello I had in my footage. I uh, still could place the crossfire here, right behind the TPU cam mount, it's just zip tied here. I hope it won't uh, touch the motors too much, but that should be fine. So crossfire immortal T is nicely placed here. And one slight issue I had, so I was almost doing like mid-range flying with this, especially when I tested this lithium ion battery. And with this linear antenna flying in the city, I, I had pretty much a lot of issues with multipath and, and just not a very clean video feed in my FPV goggles. So I decided to use the new mount and upgrade this to an XC antenna and I suppose this will give me a way better FPV experience. And although I have to admit that the FPV feed of the Run Cam 3 Nano isn't great, uh, to me it feels kind of gray and maybe a little bit foggy, it's okay, I mean, it, it's not bad. It's not the best experience, but it's a little sacrifice you have to make to get the HD footage, um, which is a nice, nice touch. On the other hand side, I'm not really sure what to do with this HD footage, for me it was quite, it was quite nice to have because I'm sharing this here on YouTube, but actually the, the quality footage isn't very impressive and um, could be an idea to swap this for a uh, for a camera that gives you just a nicer FPV uh, experience in a moment. Apart from that, I didn't change anything on my build because it works pretty well. The Mamba stack performs great. 
no problems at all. I like these 12 or 7 motors, so I tried these on 2 and 3S. And the nice thing is they work pretty well on both. 2S for cruising, 3S. Really, this thing has great power on 3S. It's way faster than it looks, to be honest. Um, I think it's just these kind of aggressive 12 or 7 motors with a pretty high status st stator. These really like to rev up. Um, I use them on a bunch of different props with a bunch of different batteries. And what I ended up using most of the time is a 650 3S, which is a pretty big battery for this uh, small build, but it just gives you a very good fly time. Um, I also tried, I mean, I tried everything from uh, 550, 450 3S, another 450 3S, uh, that's another 650 3S, and it's a 300 milliamp hour 3S. Um, this was Albert Kim, who also built this one, tried. In my opinion, this is not enough. Um, this thing really sucks. <laughs> a decent amount of amps, so this is way too, this battery is way too small and the flight times aren't great. Um, because even though these motors have uh, really good power, they aren't the most efficient one motors you can get with the high stator. But I wouldn't say that they are inefficient. Um, they just aren't specifically efficient. But with a big 650, which was my favorite here, especially the GNB, which just dishes out a lot of amps, uh, this worked pretty well. Now the props I have on here are the new Kebab FPV Gem Fan collaboration props, the 3018 which look really interesting. They have the two millimeter um, shaft T-mount, but you can use them on these 1.5 millimeter motors. They're just held in place by the screw, so no problem here. But unfortunately, since we have non-stop rain all week here, I didn't get a chance yet to try these, but they look pretty good. I'm pretty sure that it will perform very good on these motors. And uh, yeah, that's about it. These are my uh, my updates on the pickle. I will probably uh, do some more improvements and test flights on this thing to further fine tune it. And of course, I will share this here on my YouTube. Um, apart from that, I can only encourage you to get one of these. I linked Alex Thingiverse down in the video description, and. As I do, he uploads all of his designs, which are really require a lot of work, just uploads them on Thingiverse for you to use them for free, which is really cool. So go ahead and check it out. Um, apart from that, nothing more to say. I hope you found this useful, guys. If you have any more questions, leave a comment below. I know I'm sometimes very busy and don't have the time to answer all of them, but I'm really doing my best. So thanks for watching, guys.